Food delivery apps are dead. Lyft and Uber is pretty damn slow lately. Uh, Instacart's been trash. Shift, uh, Shift has been trash. I can get, I got zero blocks with Amazon Flex. Is it time to quit and go find a part-time W-2 or better yet a full-time W-2? Hey guys, my name is Ben, aka Sci Hustle Addict. So, for the people that uh, that's been on this channel for like a, for a while now, you guys know I've been doing gig for ten years, and uh, mostly I've been doing it part time. Uh, got fired from my uh, previous job uh, um, recently, but uh, I don't want to elaborate uh, about it. But you know. Hmm. So what are you guys are uh, planning to do with uh, the way uh, food del delivery has been so saturated, especially in Denver, man. <laughs> but uh, with ride share, I mean, uh, I still make enough to pay the bills with Lyft and Ubex. Mm, I don't make as much as November or October, but uh, I still make enough to pay the bills. And uh, I guess in a few months uh, or maybe uh, this week, uh, I'll go find a part-time uh, W-2 job and do a gig part-time. That is my plan, but uh, if I put in 60 hours uh, per week with Rideshare, uh, I guess I can still pay the bills. Mm. What are you guys planning to do well, when things are so slow, man? Uh, please put down in the comments. Mm. Are you quitting gig altogether? Or are you cutting, ba uh, cutting back on gig and um, uh, finding a part-time uh, job? part-time that you too and do gig part-time yeah oh yeah and, uh, please smash the like for the YouTube algorithm and uh, subscribe and ring the bell that way you don't miss our new videos yeah so I've been doing this for 10 years and uh, yeah man I've seen some slow times but uh, currently saturation is unreal man saturation is unreal mm. there's so many new uh, food delivery drivers out there um, with ride share, uh, I guess people are just uh, cutting ba cutting back on spending, cutting back on going out to the bars and so on. I mean, people still take uh, take Lyft and Uber to work. Yeah, like uh, case in point, on a Tuesday night, uh, four of my rides were to Amazon warehouse or drive them home or either take taking them from from home to uh, Amazon warehouse or the other way around. You know, yeah, so. There's some people that don't have a car or they don't, um, whatever, uh, or their car is in the shop and uh, they would take Lyft and Uber uh, to go to work. I've taken a few uh, bartenders on uh, Uber and Lyft as, as well. Also, tax season is uh, right around the corner. Yeah, so uh, I just want to go a little bit over tax advice, you know, so when you do your tax, um, Make sure to claim all your miles, claim all your uh, claim your mileage, and it's okay to exaggerate a little bit. So there's no way uh, the IRS would know how many miles you drive for gig exactly, and how many miles you drive for personal. There's no way for them to find out. So, so when you do your tax, it's okay to exaggerate a little bit. And uh, on top of mileage, you can also deduct uh, phone accessories. Um, uh, this is for gig, okay? Uh, phone accessories, toll, uh, parking, um, car registration. If you're making payments on your uh, car, uh, the interest part is deductible. Yeah, I'm just going over a little bit, yeah. Uh, that, there's an old tax video like last year. So uh, basically, uh, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, and uh, speaking of tax, the best tax situation is probably part-time W-2 and part-time gig, yeah. And which what I've been doing for like uh, at least seven years, yeah. Only been doing gig full-time for like two years out of the 10 years. So uh, the best tax situation is part-time part-time um, W-2, part-time gig. All right, tax for content creator. I guess content creators know their tax, but you know, uh, I'm gonna go a uh, little bit over, uh, if you get a 
if you get a 1099 from YouTube or from uh, Facebook or from TikTok and so on, yeah, all your camera uh, equipment is uh, deductible. iPhone, uh, your Canon professional camera, uh, GoPro, drone if you have one, those are deductible. Dash cam, uh, memory cards, uh, editing software. If you pay an editor to edit your videos, if you pay somebody to make a thumbnail, those fees are deductible. Um, if you're a food blogger, uh, the food that you eat uh, uh, on uh, on your videos is dedu deductible. Uh, if you're a travel blogger, all your travel expenses are deductible, of course. You know, so, content creator looks uh, great on paper, but uh, it's a really good it's a really good way to um, to um, deduct your taxes. All right, going back about uh, saturation and so on. Yeah, man, uh, I've seen ride share uh, uh, saturation before. Like, I remember 2015, Thanksgiving, like the few days before Thanksgiving 2015, I was sitting outside of Union Station. Union Station is by far the busiest pickup in Denver. I was sitting in front of Union Station for two hours. Zero ride, so I've seen, uh, I've seen saturation before. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, I'm still going to do a uh, Lyft and Uber full-time for now. Uh, I will look for a part-time job. Uh, but even without the part-time job, I can still do a gig full-time and pay the bills, you know. But I'm speaking for rideshare. Mm. With food delivery, I don't know. Yeah, Food delivery has been very saturated. Um, I give up on food delivery. Uh, I mean, I still log on, but I hardly ever get, get any uh, good orders here. And uh, yeah, Amazon Flex, usually I see eight available blocks, even though it's regular price. Uh, lately, zero blocks, Amazon Flex. So saturation is uh, is unreal or is real. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, once again, I'm just freestyling this uh, sit down video. Um, yeah, man, so my advice to uh, to the new drivers that are struggling uh, to make money, just get yourself a part-time job and do this part-time. Or better yet, just take some time off of doing gig and uh, go find a full-time W-2. And when a uh, gig is picking back up, uh, go back to it, you know? Yeah. But uh, if you're putting in 60 hours uh, with your gig apps and still not uh, uh, able to pay the bills, it's time to call it quits, you know. I hate to sugarcoat things. I hate to tell you that everything is uh, rainbows and sunshine, but it's not. Uh, Denver is one of them sanctuary cities, and uh, there's a lot of people dashing, uh, the, these new migrants. Um, I mean, I'm glad they're working, but uh, since uh, some of them are doing DoorDash and Uber Eats, it's very saturated for food delivery. Yeah. I am not anti-immigrant immigrant or anything like that, but, you know... Mm. I'm just stating the facts, yeah. We took in a lot of migrants and uh, some of them are doing DoorDash and Uber Eats and um, it's just too saturated for, with uh, food delivery. Mm. Sorry, I have to jump back in with tax. All right, so let's talk about tax for doing uh, gig work. Yeah. So uh, mileage, um, car, car payment interest, uh, tolls, uh, car registration, uh, parking, uh, and it's probably better to do uh, uh, mileage compared to itemize. Itemize, you need to keep all your receipts. Uh, itemize, uh, you would get more deduction if that year you put in, uh, if you had a lot of repairs, uh, 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 i.e. Uh, you uh, replace a new transmission, uh, i.e. you uh, uh, put in a new engine, yeah. Those are be better itemized, but uh, generally speaking, it's probably better to uh, do standard mileage deduction. Uh, this year, IRS uh, standard deduction is still 67 cents per mile. So if you drive 100,000 miles, your deduction is $67,000 just in mileage. And if you drive 10,000 miles, that's $6,700 in deduction and so on. Yeah.
and and it, it this is and if this is your first year doing uh, filing tax, uh, it's probably uh, best to go to a pro professional CPA. Yeah. And by the way, half of the CPA at H&R Block, they're not, not half of the people that file your tax at H&R Block, they're not professional CPA. Yeah. Some of them are, most of them are not. Go to a professional CPA, tell them your whole situation, and uh, maybe the second year you can do tax by yourself. Yeah, it, honestly, it's not that easy. Yeah, and uh, by the way, this is not tax advice. Yeah, I'm not a professional CPA, but I've been doing my own tax uh, for eight years. I've been um, I've been doing gig for ten years, so I I kind of know the ins and outs of uh, doing tax and so on. And uh, yeah, you can email me at yellow tiger four one three for some tax advice. Uh, I charge uh I charge uh um twenty minutes for twenty dollars or one hour of, yeah twenty twenty minutes for twenty dollars if you uh, hop on a phone call with me. Yellow tiger four one three at gmail dot com. So once again, yeah, put down in the comments what are your plans for this year with the way uh things are so saturated. Um like I said before uh, earlier, yeah, um uh, if I put in 60 hours, uh, I, I can uh, still uh, pull in uh, at least $4,000 per month. At least $4,000. Um, if I put in 60 hours per week. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, fam. And I uh, just want to uh, say thank you to all my channel members. Um, it only costs $5 uh, to be a channel member. $5 per month. Um, with that being said, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, um... I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to get, uh, smash the like, subscribe, ring the bell. That way you don't miss our new videos. Thank you for watching, fam. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.